Hello everybody, Buddy Webb Midland, Texas. I'm going to share with you a Facebook post uh, I did today. Uh, it says, burglar alarms going off while I'm taking a bath. I made about a hundred videos of burglar alarms going off in the attic since I was shot with burglar alarms going off in the attic. I saw a young Hispanic guy in my attic, so this isn't a theory. It's an absurd amount of proof, and I finally realized that the problem isn't a lack of proof. The Midland Police Department, who I tagged on that, are working with the criminals who have been breaking into my home and the many others rigged like it. I've had people accuse me of setting off the burglar alarms going off my attic, and then one day I was in the bathtub and making a video on my foot when the burglar in the attic set off an alarm. That makes it pretty clear that I didn't do it. I sent this video to Mayor Blong, the City Council, and the Texas Rangers today, and I told them that I had clearly heard somebody in my attic today, yesterday, and the day before. Okay, The crimes are still going on here. My first call to the police for a burglary was in November 2010, and I was told that the last owner of this home, Mike Lahan, was telling his friends about people breaking into this home before he died. I wondered if there were police reports showing this, but my request to see the police reports for my own home was denied by the city of Midland. I appealed to the Texas Attorney General, Greg Paxton, and he upheld this ruling to hide the police reports for my own home where I was shot by somebody under my home with my phone lines cut and burglar alarms going off in the attic. I suspected that he knows about the million dollar underground home in the backyard. A lady told me that the word around town is there's an underground game room or illegal casino in Midland where the high rollers go. That'd be a big money maker and motive for the four murder deaths I was told happened here before they cut my phone lines and shot me. Okay, I'm going to look at some of the comments before we look at the little video. It says, these were my first two calls for burglary. The first one on November 9, 2010. Anthony Corson calls me possible 1096. And on the second call from January 8, 2011, Corson calls me 1096, okay? Which means crazy or mental patient. Anthony Corson was then promoted to be over internal affairs. So if I reported a dirty cop, that's who it would go to. Okay, a dirty cop. Okay, here it is. And there's the date, 11 9 uh, 2010 and uh, uh, this was just a burglary on the first one. Anthony Corson, they didn't even investigate, okay? That wasn't even for people in the attic either, you know, they, but they didn't investigate either time. And here is on January 8, 2011, a year before I'm shot with my phone lines cut. Can, can he can hear noises. He blocked the attic. I'm, I'm in my, uh, holding my 9mm, my shotgun, hiding in the closet, scared to death. Anthony Corson. Also, Michael Chandler was on that call, the husband of April Chandler. And here it is. Uh, complainant 1096. Okay, and I found out that's what they're doing to all of the crime victims that report these crimes. That's the modus operandi for this uh, organized crime and racketeering. A year after my first call for a burglary, I was shot by somebody under my home with my phone lines cut and burglar alarms going off in the attic. The Midland Police Department tampered with the evidence, falsified the police report, and then spread life-destroying lies against me to cover up this home invasion and premeditated murder, capital murder attempt. Okay, and the big point is down here on the bottom. The nurse documented at 11.27 on the night that I was shot with my phone lines cut, their sirens going off. The alarms kept going off. I'm telling the detective, burglar alarms are going off in my attic. I had been reporting people in my attic for over a year, and then I'm shot with my phone lines cut and burglar alarms going off in the attic. The police report for the night of the murder attempt was illegally withheld from me for seven years, and when I finally got to see it in 2019, I saw that it timestamped five Midland police officers, Davis Dickey, Chatwell, Angel, and Hell, at or inside my home that were not seen arriving on the security cameras like Woodward and Naylor had been minutes earlier. This was proof that police were under my home on the night that I was shot by somebody under my home. That's why they withheld the police report, okay? And that's what this is showing here. Time stamped. Naylor, Woodward Naylor show up as scene 1101. I'm calling out at 1042. The reason I called out because my phone lines were cut. I had to call out to survive. D D Matt Davis is, is at my home. He's not seen arriving. 
and then Tony Dickey, you can see it right here. Uh, here's Davis right there. Here's Tony Dickey. No one in the house inside and lots of odd things like booby traps. But he wasn't seen arriving on the security cameras like Woodward and Naylor were driving up. And so how did they get my home? They got my home from the underground trap door that I was shot from, you know, which they, they later covered up while I was in the hospital. Okay. I was told that the previous owner of my home, Michael Hahn, was telling his friends about somebody repeatedly breaking into this home before he died on October 12, 2008. I transferred in town, and I bought this home from his widow, Sarah, about a month later. I had no idea about the underground home in the backyard, the old show parties, or the hidden underground access that allows people to get into the attic, okay? I'm going to show you. This is the previous owner, Mike Lahan, and this is a message, a print screen I got from uh, a friend of a friend. He said he felt like people were in his house, how he knew people were in the house. I wondered if he reported that to, to law enforcement. Okay. I sent in an information request and I and, and asked the police reports for my home during the time that Mike Lahan died and the city of Midland denied my request. I appealed to the Texas Attorney General, Greg Paxton, and, and he sided with the city. I suspect those reports will show that Mike Lahan was killed here and then taken to Fort Worth. He died the week before the 2008 old show parties were going to start in the underground home in his backyard. Okay, You can go do an information request, first responder request records, and I said, please send me records for calls to my home, transferred to town here. Uh, I'm interested in any records for the previous homeowner, Mike Lahan. The 27-year-old father died a few weeks before I bought this home, and I suspected that he was murdered by the same people who shot me. And they said, no, you can't see them records, you know, from my own home. And that's what I told them, okay? I was told that the word around Midland is there's an underground game room here and, and, or illegal casino where the high rollers go. That would be a money maker and a motive for murder. Okay, I'm going to show you here. Right here, this lady told me, says, word in Midland, now there's a game room here that all the high officials go to. And you know, bet money and you know when money and whatever else they do down there. And I know what that is too. She talking about the P word. I can't say the P word on social media. Y'all got to figure that out yourself. It goes with casinos and illegal gambling. Obviously, the illegal casino is or was in the four three-bedroom million-dollar underground homes that I was told about, and one of them is located in my backyard. It looks like the people going go in there used a tunnel going from the Midland Home Depot store to my home. I'm going to show you this. This map was found on a Google Earth historical maps. You can see where here's the Home Depot store where the tunnel was cut coming to my house. In the backyard was one of the homes. And I'll show you on Google Maps. You used to be able to see a large bunker in the backyard on the map screen. Couldn't see it from above ground. I told the city about it. Got deleted, you know. And then all these people I've documented. Ricky Ronaldo said he used to live in my house. I used to call the tunnels down there, you know. Uh, uh, Rhonda Denman Rogers says there's an underground facility half block away a sheriff candidate joe lozano i recorded him telling me that the underground homes was the hideout for the late sheriff gary painter okay on July 2nd, I showed Homeland, Paul Cervantes, where I believe the tunnel was located, at the Home Depot store. Two weeks later, they dug up the ground, poured the concrete. I got it on video, pouring concrete, right after I showed Homeland where this tunnel's located. Okay, I showed you. And right after that, July 30th, uh, Mike Conaway announces his retirement. Come to find out, his brother-in-law used to live across the street from my house. Okay, Aaron Packerhofer, a Freemason in Midland, told me there have been four people murdered, died here in my house so much and i've seen showed you this many times uh i'm not so sure it's a secret police but can i ask there were four people who were murdered died in your house with their names and i think mike lahan's one of them okay let me show you this video here uh here uh of, of my foot that's not what i wanted to i just turned the sound on and so I'm in the bathtub and they have alarm and headaches going off. <laughs> and so, uh, anyway, while we listen to it, I said it's in my foot. And uh, these are real people. I showed you, I think I made that video this morning. You know the burglar ones work. There's somebody in my attic right now. I heard, and I told the mayor this, the Texas Rangers, 
city council yesterday when I emailed them uh, that I heard somebody in my home yesterday very clearly the day before, the day before that, and I first reported some in my attic in January 2011. I was shot a year later, burglar alarms gone for the attic. Uh, th th this has to stop. We can't just kill one innocent homeowner after another with all this evidence. That's why I'm getting contact them, and I'm going to keep contact them. Buddy Webb, Midland, Texas.